Where's my wand? Where's my wand, game? Where's my wand? Yeah, I was bummed out pretty hard yesterday because I just kept getting... I just kept getting bad RNG, and it was like a couple days like added on, you know? So I think I needed to just like step away and not let the game bring me down. So now today, even if I get bad RNG, I don't even care. Because, you know what I mean? Like, I... I didn't have bad RNG yesterday, I just said frigate. It's, it's, honestly, it's messed up sometimes. Like, the days you have off, sometimes you're okay with working on your days off. You're like, yeah, I'm bored anyways. But sometimes when you have to work, those are the days, there's some days where you're like, I really can't go into work today, man. I'm just like all over the place. It sucks, man. I don't know why life is like that. It's like one of those, like, you want something so bad until you have it, and then once you have it, you're like, yeah, whatever, right? On your days off from work, you're like, whatever, I'll work, and then, Days where it's really important for you to work, you're like, fuck, man, I I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, the wizard. The wizard was a big Mario 3 commercial, but at the same time, it, like, wasn't, right? I feel like the wizard... I feel like the wizard would be more of a big Mario 3 commercial, a big ad, if they were displaying it a lot earlier. I mean, you don't... You don't hear about Mario 3 until the last five minutes of the movie. I mean, what kind of advertising is that? You gotta get through the entire movie before people even see it. You know, not much of an- I know, I missed my A-press. Not much of advertising there, but I mean, it's still, you know, it still makes sense. I still see why it is an ad. It, it pretty much- The ending is a big, you know, the conclusion of the movie, which- most people would watch anyways. Yeah, I slipped and fell. I slipped and fell in the sand trap. <laughs> Dude, nobody would know about that whistle. That would be impossible to find. He doesn't- they've never played Mario 3 before. In the wizard, you wouldn't even understand the mechanics of flying yet. Right? I mean, you'd have to get P-Speed. Which, he didn't have at the beginning of the fortress. And then, you would have to like, do turn back, PCP turn back, and then fly up. And then you would- okay, this is the ticker, okay? You would have to know to press up once you flew up there. You don't just go into the door. That's the thing that annoys me. Okay, some magical reason, yeah, getting PCP and flying, not, you know, that's not that cryptic. That, you know, that- you could be anyone and figure that out. Right? But the fact that you fly up there, hold forward all the way, and then you gotta press up. You wouldn't know there's a door there? How would you know there's a door there? That's what drives me bonkers. I'm trying to think, but I don't think there's any off-screen door transition, or even pipe transition for that matter. The the whistle door in 1-3 behind the goal, true, but that will automatically enter you in, which is weird. I find that really strange. In 1-3, in 1-3 if you duck behind the background and then you run behind the end goal, you'll go right in, you don't have to press up. So, right? Like, what? It's weird. It's weird. However, in the fortress, the fortress doesn't take you to a mushroom house, right? Where 1 3 does, so maybe that's why. Uh, I don't think it'll get to the point where you need Jesus Clip and Door 3 to world record. You're talking like a couple second time saves. If the 100% run gets down to the point where you can only save a couple seconds, I mean, I don't even think that's possible. Sadly. But also not sadly. That's kind of good. The Hammer Brother movements are so sporadic all the time that it's... I mean, you can't... Right? Like, I don't know, man. I don't think you can get such good Hammer Brothers movements to the point where it's... 
where the Hammer Brother movements are so good that you can barely save any time by the Hammer Brother, right? Like, it's crazy. Not sadly, goodly, exactly, right? Sometimes when you're having a bad day or a bad time, you just gotta step back, take a deep breath, go for a lap, take a knee. You know? RNG, bad RNG was just stacking on me for about four or five days in a row, and yesterday I just said, you know what, enough. I'm done. I'm going and I'm eating chips and getting crumbs all over myself for the rest of the night and just watching the show, just completely forgetting about it. Just over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. You know? The runaways and the bad movements. Cooperate. Uh-oh. I got the speed, yes. It's gonna be scary. Yeah. He always- he always throws it somewhere close to the pipe when you don't do the level perfectly. It's always somewhere. I will be astonished if he moves to the right. He hasn't done that move in, in like three weeks. You guys understand? You guys don't get how good I am at this game. You see what I did? Nothing. I did nothing at all. Combo. You gotta combo those boys and girls. Yeah, yeah. That's weird, man. The ghost is constantly despawning now. I don't know why. That's three times in a row that's happened. I mean, we don't want the ghost there, but we also don't want the dry bones. Yo, try away 40 freaking months in a row, dude. Holy kablingies, man. Holy kablingies. How do things despawn? Too much stuff on the screen. When it's time to be loaded, it's too much crap. Do I like spicy food? Depends. Depends. I'm very specific on my spicy food. It has to be... It has to be... Okay, so... I like spicy food that tastes good. I don't like spicy for the sake of spicy. Like, you know, there's people out there like, I can eat the hottest pepper in the world. Watch me. It's like, it doesn't taste good, though. There's no... I guess the heat can be pretty enjoyable, but for me, when it becomes painful, I don't like it. I like buffalo, fuck yeah, that's some good stuff. I'm gonna try wave on that one. Me and try wave, buffalo chicken wraps every day. Dude, I'm all about the buffalo chicken wraps. Buffalo Caesar wraps, I don't care what it is. It's good stuff. I don't know what happened there. What is that? What is that? Ooh, look at that. I wonder what it means when all that stuff happens. Was that the Hammer Brothers right there? Or... I don't know what happened. I'm not surprised. See, it feels normal. Something like that happens. You get one frame of input. Once you screen transition, that's why I was able to pass that Hammer Brother. This is the best direction to go into first, and then I come down, right? And now this Hammer Brother's in my in my path.
I have made mild mistakes in this run, but the RNG's been so bad that I'm behind probably 15 or 20 seconds. I'm definitely one of those gamers where my tongue helps me concentrate. Either rubbing on the top of my mouth or my lips. I don't know why my tongue helps me concentrate. It just does, okay. Man, 296 is so hard. It, switching cartridges doesn't really like, it doesn't change anything. I've always done it as a joke. Gotta switch my cartridge, man, get better. Switch it up a bit, switch up the versions, it doesn't do anything. But I get fed up with bad RNG, like, I get a really bad RNG all the time, and I get fed up sometimes. Um, normally, I can handle it because, you know, you get bad RNG for a little bit, and then it like clears up, and then you finally get some good RNG, and it feels good, and you're like, okay, it makes sense. But this past week, actually, I've only gotten bad RNG, and it kind of drove me crazy a little bit, so... I took yesterday, I finished early yesterday and just like lounged on the couch and just forgot about it. It was so, it was so bliss. And now today, like even this run has been such bad RNG, you're gonna, you're gonna find out very shortly how bad the RNG in this world was. And um, like I don't even care. This week was ridiculous for RNG, exactly. I made, I've made a couple minor mistakes in this world, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't cost me the amount of time you're about to see right here. Right? Like, I mean, I made a couple mistakes, but 11 seconds, it's pretty big. That was very close. Oh, come on, that was it. times no when I come to a dead stop that means I did it perfectly but I got bad RNG three times in a row man bad sub pixels I did everything perfect but I got bad sub pixels so I, it's out of my control which sucks but at least I know that you know my aim is good right at least I got good aim How long does each attempt take? About two seconds, over two seconds. Oh man, my thumb's getting tired. 